Have you ever wondered why you feel like you have an ancient wisdom within you? Or you just feel that you are much older than people in your generation and you have something within that may be truly good to share with others, that it could help many people. Welcome back to Attract Passion, my friends. Today we will be talking about the old souls. Science which can prove to you that you are an old soul. So old soul is a term for a soul which was reincarnated many times, which means that that soul can have a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom in the core of itself. So the purpose of that soul is to provide certain knowledge or wisdom so humanity as a collective mind can evolve. So soul, in my understanding, is an extension of the source of energy. So it makes us all connected because everyone is coming from the same source. But some souls are for a longer time in the cycle of life than others, which make them older than other souls. So that's what I want to talk about today, how to recognize that you are that older soul. So while we are moving through experiences, we are gaining knowledge and through time we gain wisdom from that knowledge and that wisdom, the purpose of wisdom usually is to share it, so help others to grow. So the first sign that you can recognize in your life that you are an old soul is that you like to be alone. It's the most common and maybe you've heard it before. So if you like to be alone, not because you don't like to hang with people, not because you don't like to share what you know, but because you like to solve problems or challenges or you just like to gain greater understanding about everything when you are alone, when nobody is disturbing you, when you have your own peace. The second sign is that you are deeply interested in knowledge, in any kind of a knowledge. The reason usually for that is that we are not satisfied if somebody tells us something. But we rather dig deeper into it, why things are that way. So we are usually interested in science, we dig into religion, different religions like why they are the way they are, what they are teaching us. We get into spirituality, we get into astrology, maybe numerology. You know, whatever we can find that can confirm what we already feel as souls, you know, the knowledge which is already within us, we need to find words to express it, to remember again how to express it. Whatever we can find becomes interesting because it feels like deep inside our soul is actually guiding us to remember back again those informations as we would already know everything but just we can't find the words in our mind to express it so our soul is guiding us through different sources of informations so we can get back the right words to express it The next sign that you can recognize that you are an old soul is that you are a good listener. You don't want to talk all the time because you know that your energy is sacred. You will only talk when there's something important to say. But you are a good listener because through listening you always can find in people what they can improve, what are their potentials. And you know that through listening, you are actually healing people. Because most people need to speak their troubles out so they can finally clean themselves from within. Because you understand that, you are a good listener. With that, we need to protect our energy, always. Because if we are listening too much and we start feeling their pain and for some people it can be quite disturbing. So if you are having troubles with that, you need to learn to protect your energy and to always know when is enough. The next sign 
is that you see a bigger picture. That's actually a reason why so many people right now are awakening up to understanding that they have been here before. <laughs> because we can see a bigger picture of what is happening in any kind of scenario, any kind of situation, we are not reacting out of fear or stress, but we rather see a greater meaning of everything. And then we decide how to react most wisely. The next sign is that we want to help others. Usually you understand what people are going through and you want to help them. So you're not helping like every single one that you meet, but you rather find the best possible solution so you can help as many people as possible. So if you feel like you're here to serve, to help others, it's a powerful sign that you are most probably an old soul. The next sign is that you prefer simplicity over everything or over having many material things, many different things. Simplicity is powerful because through simplicity we stay more connected with the truth. It's nothing wrong with having things. It's nothing wrong with having a lot of things. As long as we are aware who we are, we can use everything as a game, everything as a play. But in simplicity, for example, going rather into nature than into a fancy city is because we know that we've already experienced all those things. And we found out in the past, maybe in the past lives, that the greater peace we will always find in simplicity. Because our soul already knows that, we even don't need to know why we know all those things, but something within us is guiding us towards simplicity. That's a sign that you are an old soul. The next one is, usually, if not all the time, you are rather in company of people which are much older than you. The reason for that is that you feel that you are older than people same age as you and you rather go to older people because you have more in common, you are easily getting into different conversations because a common sense is that an older person has more knowledge, more experiences. If that is you, it's another sign that you're an old soul. The next one is that you're not materialist. As same as we said before with simplicity, you're not interested so much into materialism. It doesn't mean that you don't need money or you don't want money or you don't need material things. You still have them. You are still buying things. It's natural. It's nothing wrong with that. But all those things are not representing to you a huge meaning. So you're not searching the happiness in material things. You can be a millionaire, you can have a great huge house if you want, a great car and all those things. But you know that all those things are not providing you happiness. You know where happiness is coming from, so you're not distracted by materialism. The next sign is that you are strongly connected with intuition. Even when you are lost in your mind, your analytical mind, you still feel that connection that something within you is guiding you towards the right information, towards the right destinations and so on. So you constantly feel that connection with intuition. And even when you think that you've lost it, some synchronicities happen and you get back to that connection. The next sign is that you're really self-aware. You're aware of your thoughts, like most of the times you're rec recognizing patterns which are not aligned with you anymore. 
you're self-aware of your emotional expression, what do you feel, and you're following your feelings. So when something is maybe going wrong in your life, you recognize it through your emotional state and maybe what your body is saying through feelings, and then you decide what to quit, how to change your way of thinking, how to change your perception, how to evolve in that area, how to grow in that area. So you can share your growth with others. Being self-aware is a huge gift which comes through evolution of the soul. And if you feel that you are truly self-aware, it's a great sign that you are an old soul. Self-awareness is coming from being aware of the self. So whatever is not aligned with the true self means that we need to somehow quit doing that or at least recognize it and ask ourselves how to improve it, how to change it, how to become more connected with the true self. And old souls usually know really well how to do it. Another sign is that you like to spend your time doing art or something creative, maybe just reading a poetry or writing a poetry or just doing something creative. Because you know how precious time is, you don't want to waste it for something meaningless. So you rather express yourself and do something which uplift your spirit. And the last sign is that you are non-judgmental. So you look on everything more objective and you're not judging things the way they are because, as I said before, you understand a greater picture of everything. Every person has his or her own story. So you know that there's nothing to judge. People are going through experiences and some people have a lot of things to learn yet and you understand that process so you're not judging people the way they show up but you rather provide something which can help them on their journey so this is it for now i hope the signs were clear and that you recognize them in your life so is being an old soul good or bad it just is it's not good it's not bad It's just a fact that you have a lot of wisdom within you. And as everything in the universe, each thing that exists has its own purpose. So our mission is to find our purpose, why we are here, why we are alive, especially why we are alive at this time. If you are alive right now at this totally unique time, truly ask yourself, why you came here at this special time and through the process your soul will be guiding you to understand more why you're here right now and what is your mission what is your gift that you can spread with the world so the question right now can occur what to do if i found myself that i'm an old soul what to do with that So to answer this quickly, just ask yourself or create a daily practice where you will be building up a relationship with your soul. Let's say your identity is building up a relationship with your soul. So through that process, you can learn more about who you truly are. And through the time, you will be peeling off the layers of your identity and you will start showing up to the world more as the truth of yourself and not so much anymore as something you are thinking that you need to be. And everything can start with a simple question. Who am I and why am I here? And if you're, if you're already meditating, You can always ask your soul for guidance. You can ask your soul if it can please show you the way to find out how to provide 
your gifts to the world. Please connect me with the right informations, with the right people, so I can shine bright and I can spread my uniqueness with the world and just let go and follow the process of life which is unfolding in front of you. This is it for today, my friends. I hope you found yourself in the science and write in the comments below which one is your favorite sign. Also, please like the video so it can help to increase its reach so more people can be touched with the message and subscribe if you haven't already. That's it, my friends. I'm sending you love, blessings and power like always. Have a beautiful day. Activate your heart center. Shine bright. Create. Express your uniqueness because the world needs you. One love, my friends.